time now is 8.52. Um, yeah. Um, I'm going to go to class right now. Um, I need to wake up a little earlier because of daylight savings. Um, yeah. Uh, shoot. Crap. I went to bed at around f uh, 3 a.m., which is already terrible. And then I couldn't fall asleep. At around 5.50, I, um, I took three small sleeping pills and then I didn't, I still didn't fall asleep, duh, until 4 something, 4.40 something, I think. Because last time I checked the clock, it's 4.30. Um, so yeah, I only slept for like three and a half hours. Um... And then I had an extremely, like, not extremely, but, but really a violent dream where I get beaten up constantly and someone's trying to kill me, like shoot me, and I had to acquire myself a gun to shoot back. Um, and then even before I wake up, like when I didn't see anything, I felt like my entire body is being squeezed, like really, like terribly. Um, anyways, um... I don't know. I wish I could sleep earlier, like fall asleep earlier tonight. Um, also, um, yeah. Um, as much as I want to take an afternoon nap, I'm not going to because um, I have a lot of stuff. I have college homework to handle. I want to play Minecraft. Um, I have a uh, video coming out, a review. And um, yeah, that is all. Maybe I won't watch anything tonight, though. Maybe. And then, I, of course, I want to go working out. Because it's been four days since I've not worked out or ran. So I want to do that. Um, yeah, that is all. I want to say that um, part of what's subtly sad about Mary having a boyfriend isn't so much the fact that Mary has a boyfriend and I'll never be with her. Realistically, I'll never be with her. But I realize that what's actually sad about it is um more about it's more like the um the fa the idea that I've lost a part of me. You know, I've lost like part of me is built surrounding uh hope for Mary and and uh, wanting to know her better but that part of me is now gone and it's like losing that part and that is the real sad part of seeing that mary has a boy has a boyfriend um i don't think it's impossible for me to n continue knowing her like i still think that i can still speak to her if I really, really, really want to know her, but um, the chances are low. I mean, I can, of course, I can speak to her over social media, but I need, but there must be some kind of circumstance that brings us together first. Um, but um, yeah, um, that is all. Shit! I need to write an actual script. I've actually never done this before. I've never actually written a script that is in American script format, nor in any script format. I just write it off of my head. Fade in. S scene heading. Characters first. I, I, I have no experience at this at all. I'm so bad at this. I'm, I'm so bad at this. Uh, dissolve to... Dis wait, so... There's a transition here on the left side, and then there's one on the right side. What? What? Hold on, hold on. What? What? Intercut. What? I. I don't know. I don't. I don't know anything. I don't. I don't know what's this smash cut. What's a smash cut? Just smash, smashing, smashing cut, smashing cut, quick cut. 
So it's 620 right now. I'm on my streetwear, as you can see. And I'm about to leave and work out. I, Because I only slept for three and a half hours this morning, I am not aiming for high numbers today. I am planning on uh, push-ups 50. 50 will do. Um, sit-ups, I don't think, I, I don't think I can do 90, to be honest. So I'm going to tone it down to a 60 or a 70. You know, 70 is good. So 50 push-ups, 70 sit-ups, and I'll stick with a 20 pull-up slash jump. Um, pull-up without touching the ground is basically impossible because I'm not strong enough and the bar is a little too low. Like the iron bar, it's, it's a little low. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go out. Um, yeah, I realized that I didn't... I've been trying to work out for a couple weeks now. And I feel like I've not experienced any transformation. I feel like I'm still really skinny. Um, which is a problem. I feel like in terms of muscle mass, I did grow a little bit. But I think overall, I still look really skinny. Like, look at my wrist. I'm going to put it right beside my head. Or, or beside my shoulder. This is skinny. Look at this. This this is not good. This is not good. It's skinny. It's too skinny. And um, yeah, my torso is like a little small, you know. So yeah, I'm going to work a little harder as well. Um, also, apparently it's 28 degrees outside. What the hell? Last time I went out, it was 21 degrees, I think. I don't know when or how. Did, was there a 7 degree spike or 7 degree increase? But uh, there's that. I still haven't figured out what to write for my first actual script writing homework uh, ever in my entire life. Um, but it's interesting and I'll put some thought into it, I guess. Um, but I read some other people's scripts and... They're, they suck. They suck. Aside from one other person who seems more experienced in the field using big words, but maybe a little overly dramatic because of the whole drug use topic. Not overly dramatic, more like typical, really. It's been... Um... It's been a little while since I've shown my arm to the outside world. Months, in fact. Short sleeve, here we go. <laughs> the world does look pretty goddamn depressing. Wow, holy crap. It really does look really depressing. As per usual. But more depressing than I thought. More depressing than expected. I mean, goddamn. The sky is like a sheet of gray. Time now is 11.56 p.m. on March 16th. Um, yeah, um, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna watch anything tonight. Uh, which is crazy, but I'm not going to. Um, instead, I'm going to do my film homework, again, the script, and the uh, anthropology stuff. I'm going to read a chapter, and then that's it. I'm going to bed. I'm going to listen to some music, of course. Um, two things. First of all, I finally found a fellow Hong Konger studying in the same college. <laughs> you know, you think finding people from your own country in a college is easy? It's not, but I finally found one, and I've known this for like a couple days already, but I forgot to say, uh, but uh, I think it's a she, even though the profile picture looks like a he, but I think it's a she, and um, also another thing that I wanted to say is that a couple days ago, I changed my slippers instead of the uh, very disgusting old broken Adidas slippers that I've been wearing for six or seven years. I have, I'm wearing a new one, which is now sort of bigger and 
plasticky um, and it's not very comfortable because um, it's of course it, it, it's shaped differently but uh, yeah that's it not much else to say pink is about to have her skill test I wish her good luck um, yesterday Leo suddenly asked me if I want to join him for dinner and it was 6 30 p.m. at that point and I was like bro it's too late I'm sorry I would love to but it's too late um so yeah there you go not much else to add um yay yay <laughs> I, I don't know what to say um Mary 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 it's all Mary in my head and what I've what I want to say about Mary I've already said so there's nothing I can say Time now is 7.19, um, yeah, se not, not 7, not, it's 7, uh, 18 a.m., 7.17, it's been a long time since I've woken up this early, my hairstyle is shit, oh my god, it's so bad, it's so bad, I look like a wall. Um, I only slept for four and a half hours ish, which is still better than yesterday. Uh, I'm so going to sleep back after my maths class. I'm so going to sleep back. Um, I'm feeling a little bit dizzy right now. Not even funny. Not even funny. No. Um, now I'm just unintentionally sleep depriving myself. It's not part of the project. Um, yeah, that's all, um, that's all I have to say, really, I mean, for the rest of the day, I don't have much to, uh, talk about or say, I have, um, a review but I'll I'll film it once I'm once I get some sleep. Um, and um, I have um, I can't even think. I didn't I don't want to have a haircut this soon. I don't know why, but my hair is super long, like. I think it's because of the sleep deprivation project thing. Usually when you sleep less, your hair grows longer. So my hair is just growing way faster than last month because of that. Um, yeah. It's 10.31. Class is over. I've learned nothing new. Um, not much really. I'm going to bed again. And I'll sleep for about three hours. Uh, it's gonna be great. Time now is 2.17 p.m. on March 18th. Oh my god, I got the date correct. I, that's so unexpected, holy shit. Um, uh, yeah, I woke up an hour, uh, actually one and a half hours ago. Um, had a good sleep and um, yeah, not much else. I. I don't know why, I, I think the short film guy is busy, but um, um, I really have to make the short film as soon as possible. So um, there's that, I need to follow up with that. Um, another thing is, um, yeah, nothing, nothing. I had a dream, and it's a really weird one. I feel like the more I dream about something school related, the more distorted it gets. This time, I'm in my own apartment, right? In here, in here. And... Um, Ronald and and Tom and Leo and Pink and Mary and Mary's younger sister who probably doesn't exist in real life they're all here and we're having a meal together and something really wrong happened I don't know what happened but Pink started crying and then people started leaving and then at some point me Tom Pink um, and, and Mary's sister Mary wasn't there like Mary just walked away but I was with Mary's sister, who doesn't exist in real life. I don't think so. And um, 
it's so weird. It's so weird. And Mary's sister doesn't look like Mary at all. She has a white, like silvery blonde hair. And then a little bit red hair right here, like redhead uh, hair, like golden hair. It's so weird. And, you know, Leo and Pink, they left. And then I spoke to Mary's sister. And uh, she was younger. She was like 14, 15. And I told her to be careful because going out alone on her own is not a good idea. Um, and that's pretty much it. It's just really weird. Um, but yeah. I'm liking the fact that I dreamed about Mary twice within the same week. You know, I, I like dreaming about her. Every time I dream about her, I'm satisfied. Uh, anyways, uh, what am I going to do today? Nothing important again. The same thing I did 100 days ago. Same thing I did 99 days ago. Same thing I did 98 days ago. 97, 96. Blah, 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 blah. There's no point in hoping that something would happen. Okay? There is no point in in having hope with life anymore. Like, there's nothing exciting about living anymore. Okay? But uh, I'm going to, once again, uh, review... I'm going to do college homework, um, I'm going to watch anime, that's it, that's all, um, that's all, um, not much, not much, not at all, no, 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 yeah, um, I don't know how busy Natalie is, but it's been 14 days since I've spoken to her, which is not the longest time I've not spoken to her, it's 24. Um, but still, I, I just want to talk to people, you know, and I know I can talk to Pink and Leo and, and Zara and stuff, but, but like, you talk to different people about different things. The things I'm, 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 I want to talk about aren't the things that people like Leo and Pink or Zara would be necessarily interested in hearing. Um, I mean, neither does Natalie, to be honest. Uh, I, I, I don't know anymore. I just want to speak to people, you know, I just want to have people to speak to, you know, I think that would be great, and, um, yeah, that's all, that is all, so time now is 11.25, um, I made myself, um, I'm gonna, uh, uh, ice cream and bananas ice cream and bananas yeah um yeah um i did some college homework not enough though but but definitely did some uh but now i'm a little bit later than my schedule i'm gonna wa listen to music and watch anime and that's it uh tomorrow i'm not gonna leave my apartment two days later if nothing happens i'm going to uh work out uh, again I promise myself I'm going to work out about twice a week, once or twice a week, so every four days, basically, because I take showers on alternate days nowadays because I don't leave, I don't even move all that much, I don't sweat, even though, like, I don't just jump onto bed, you know, given how much of a germaphobe I am, I still, you know, um, wash my hair and wash my face and my hands and feet, but that's it. Um, but, so, usually I shower on alternate days, and um, if I leave my apartment, the first thing I do when I come back home is wash my hands and then shower. So, nowadays, I'm going to try my best to, um, ev on every other day, I shower before bed. On the next other day, I go out and work out, and then shower, and then do my own stuff, and then wipe my face and hair. And then go to bed. That's the plan. It sounds a little complex, but I'm keeping up this routine. Um, yeah, nothing else, nothing else, nothing else. I went to Instagram, and again, I saw, like, um, I saw people, I saw Natalie. She has brown hair now. Like, I, I don't know when did she dye her hair, but she's dyed her hair now. She has long hair now. I mean, she has had long hair for some time now. She's having lunch with a totally different person like like a new like like a new friend and then pink is also having a lunch with a new friend i assume i don't know um yeah everybody's changing man everybody's living a new life everybody's changing their looks changing their social lives changing their personalities 
and I'm stuck here in my bedroom not doing anything. Um, originally, I wanted to, because I did my script related homework yesterday, which is the first thing, the first script related homework I've ever done in my entire life. And I kind of want to send it to Natalie. Yo, check out my first script related homework. But the more I look at her Instagram stories and the more I look at people's Instagram stories in general, people like Mary, the more I realize they're living a new life now. They don't give a single shit about my life, okay? My life means nothing to them at this point. You know, I could be having a birthday, you know, I could have injured myself, like I I could have uh, lost a leg, I could be in a, in a car crash, you know, <laughs> like I could, or, or it could be a good thing, like somebody would be like, oh wow, you're, yay, you're good, let me give you 12 billion dollars, and I would tell them, and Natalie would just re respond with, okay, who cares, I have my new life now, and you're not in it. So, who cares? And it's not like everybody's lives are separated because Natalie's in HKU and being in HKU, you still hang out with people like Zara and Olivia because they also study in HKU. I study in Los Angeles and I can only find one other Hong Konger who studies in the same college. And I'm not even sure if she's Asian American or just Asian. I'm not even sure. Because if she's Asian American, culturally we would still be different <laughs> i would still not understand so um yeah it's it's terrible it really is again i feel like shit the whole day not as worse as last week but but i still feel kind of defeated and sad and my ice cream is melting but who cares um and um yeah I guess this is life now. I mean, I, I, I can't do anything about it. I feel a little angry. I've always dreamed, you know, I've always daydreamed that, you know, maybe 10 years later, maybe 20 years later, I'm going to finally make my movies and I'm going to premiere. You know, you know, those movie premieres? And I would invite the people I used to know. People like Cedric, Natalie, Pink, Leo, Mary, Oliver, Ernest, um, Grant, of course, duh. Uh, if, if I can invite Mary, I would, um, and maybe Linda and Darnell, just for fun, I don't know, but I don't know them anymore, and, and they're gonna show up, and it's gonna be great, but the more I think about it, the more I realize it's, it's a stupid idea, never invite your childhood friends to anything, because you're not friends anymore, you're strangers again, you're fucking strangers again, we're all strangers again, okay, like, there's no point in trying to reconnect with people you used to know, because they don't give a shit about you anymore. And you shouldn't give a shit about them anymore as well. The only reason why I still give a shit about them. Is because I don't have new people to give a shit about. So if I have new friends right now. I probably would have abandoned my old friends. Probably. I don't know. But but they already have. And if they have. Why can't I have as well? You know, If they have abandoned me. Why can't I abandon them? Let's abandon each other. Let's be fair. So instead of them abandoning me and me crawling on my floor, crawling on the ground like a beggar, like, come on, why are you abandoning me? Please, remember me, remember me, hi, 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 hey, look at, look at me, please. Speak to me, please, respond. Instead of that, let's just live separately. So it wouldn't hurt as much as my position right now where I'm just in the middle of nowhere and I'm just asking for people to respond to me. Like, this is fucking horrible. But this, this is happening, okay? It's happening, and it's horrible. So, um, that's the brutal truth of life, I guess. Um, I wish I can abandon people. I, I really wish. I hate doing this, but if everybody's doing this, I can't not do this. The society sets itself up for this to happen. This is the society we're living in. People, if people come up to me and ask me, Dude, why are you such a loner? Why do you have no friends? Well, I answer, it's not my fault. I mean, partially it is. But at this point, people are living new lives and I'm not. And people are abandoning me. And it's partially how the society works. People just leave each other. People just abandon each other. You know what? Yeah, we used to know each other 10 years ago. 
at this point, one and a half years ago, you know what? Who fucking cares? One and a half years, it means an eternity. And at this point, we might as well be strangers. And this is how cruel the society can be. So I'm just going to leave it at that. And um, I don't fucking know anymore. All right, time now is 1.58. Um, well, I couldn't fall asleep again. I went to bed at around 2.30. And I couldn't fall asleep until 4.45 or something. I don't know what's gone to me. Last time I saw Attack on Titan before I sleep, I also couldn't fall asleep. And same goes for yesterday. So... <laughs> that's a problem um but uh yeah i just woke up half an hour ago and um yeah i'm not gonna do much today i'm going to play minecraft do college homework film review watch a movie tonight and that's all um i had a dream now this dream is really weird but um i really enjoy this dream almost in, in a depressing way where um so it's two-parted right so a person an important person told me to find elon musk because they were working together but they wouldn't see each other for some reason so that person sent me to find elon musk in a city i think san francisco or something but it was a very cartoony city it was like very yellowish it was like sim city or animal crossing it doesn't feel real so I found Elon Musk and I talked to him and he was actually really nice. So the part two of the dream is the real main dish in my opinion, where Elon Musk showed me a room about the size of my classroom, of my old secondary school classroom. I entered it and it was a one to one rebuild of my old secondary school classroom with people in it on their seats. And they're all robots. They're not real. They're like hosts in Westworld. They're all robots. And it was all the people I know, including Jordana and Natalie. And I could activate them. You know, they were just sitting there like mannequins, but I could activate them and they would talk and speak. Um, and um, it was just depressing because and, and also this isn't like what they look like now in real life it's like what they look like before maybe somewhere between 2015 16 17 ish and this is insane i was really happy um because i've always said this that maybe mary from 2021 isn't as great as being friends with mary and 2017 you know that's what i'm that's what i always say and so these are people from 2017 and i was so happy to see them even though they're not real and at that point it's already good enough so um yeah a little creepy but also very depressingly um beautiful beautiful dream and um yeah there was one girl who was bending her body and her head was under the desk and i was like i don't know who that is so I activated her, she was Mary. So that's interesting. I just wanna add um, something quick. I just wanna, yeah. Um, 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 so yesterday um, I got an email saying that there would be a film club meeting, a Zoom meeting. And it is from 11.15 a.m. to 12.15 afternoon. Basically, uh, a.k.a. Um, uh, 2.15 a.m. to 3.15 a.m., which is not terrible, you know, because I don't have to go to math class today. However, I want to sleep early. So I, while brushing my teeth, I joined the Zoom meeting on my phone and they were doing self-introduction. And they were randomly pointing at people, like pass it on to you, passing on to you. And there were only 18 people in the Zoom meeting, including me. And I was like, oh my god, I need to sleep. And I don't want, if they pick me, then like shit, you know. So I just left. So there's that. Another thing is, um, Jordana did this very hypocritical rant 
on Instagram, sort of um, just ranting on, um, just ranting on how people waste their food, um, especially during buffet. And Natalie screenshotted that, of course, because Natalie is Jordana's number one hater. And she sent sent it to um, the WhatsApp group between me, Cedric, and her. And she's like, haha, look at this. And that's it. You know, I was a little bit pissed. I don't know why, but I, I'm just a little bit pissed. Okay. I'm just... The more I think about having friends, the more I realize that there's no point in having friends at this point. There's no fucking purpose, you know? It's not like it's it's gonna help me or anything. I'm trapped in this prison, you know, regardless. Time now is 12.38. Um, I just played Minecraft and edited a thoughts update video. Don't have much time left. I'm gonna do some college homework, listen to some music, and that's all. Yeah. Um. I... I, I don't know, I mean, not much else to say. I really want to converse. I want to really want to talk to real people, you know? Isn't that a nice thing to do? And I mean, sure, I can just speak to Pink and Zara, but they get tired and they're busy sometimes, so... I really don't know. Um... Yeah, so I'm going to leave it at that. I, um... I don't know. I feel like shit the whole day. Like, I, I just feel really like, like life is just so meaningless and, and boring. And it's like, nothing's working out and I hate everything. I I would imagine if grad din happens, right? I don't want to talk about it, but if it, if it really happens, right? The doors will be opened and I would be like 10 meters outside of the doors and I would be like, I would be like just standing there menacingly and then I would start crying and then I would just leave. I, I, I don't even have the courage to walk through those doors. I don't even want to see these people anymore. Okay? I've given up on them. It's pointless. It's fucking pointless. So, um, yeah. It's depressing. But yeah, anyways, homework, music, and then I may watch like half of a movie. I don't know. It depends. Time now is 11.14 a.m. in the morning on March 19th, I think. Uh, it's 20. Um, yeah. May is about to start anyways. So, um... Yeah, I feel like shit. I realize this, but I pretty much carry the same attitude throughout the last 12 days. The exact same attitude. I did not change. 12 days ago I was like crying and stuff. Saying like this life now that I'm having. It's it's garbage. And then now I'm just saying and feeling the same thing really. Um, I, I don't know. I didn't have any dreams. Um, it would be great if I've dreamed about Mary. Um... I don't want to cut my hair. I don't want to have a haircut. You know, if, um, God damn, if, um, if I follow my own, like, schedule, um, my own one month and a week period, my next haircut should be at around early April. But here's the thing fuck haircuts. I hate the world, I hate myself, I hate the society. Um, at this point, there's no point in having a haircut. There's no point in trying to look good other than, yeah, I have YouTube videos to make. Um, but I don't see people anymore, okay? So I'm not going to have a haircut. I'm just going to leave it long and I'm going to leave my facial hair out untrimmed, raw. Like wild bushes, like wild grass. That's weird. Like... I'm just gonna just go, you know? Um, 
Gear. I don't know. Um, I like several things come to mind, like Miriam still wanting to ask me out, like not to date or anything, duh, but like to ask me out to you know have a run together, or um, Leo asking me to have dinner with him. These things are cool, you know. But again, at this point, it feels as though having friends is a pointless thing anymore. Like at this stage, having someone to connect with is already pointless because it doesn't help anymore. This this life we're living, you know, it's it's just it is what it is, you know. So, um, I don't know. I don't know anymore. Um, yeah, I miss Mary. And, um, that's all. I don't know. I'm going to have to go to my mom's friend's place again today. And I'm not going to do anything, but I'm going to sit there with a laptop and listen to music for nine hours. Which is going to be exciting. Because this time I'm leaving my apartment and I'm not working out or running. The last few times I left my apartment, I'm either working out or I'm jogging. Downstairs. I haven't really gone out for a long time. The last time I've gone out actually is is Chun Wan, and that is an entire month ago, I think. How long ago was that? Oh my God, it's actually an entire month ago. It felt like a week ago. You see, in 2016, so many things can happen in one week, and in 2021, so few things can happen in one week. It's actually insane. It's actually insane how uneventful my life has become. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, I don't know anymore. I could very well fail my short film dream. My dream that before I go to the USA, I'm going to finish my conspiracy short film. I may fail that. And if I do, I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. Imagine a person who only has one goal and fail it. Who has one person he likes and fail never dated it before never done anything significant probably the least popular person um like how much of a failure can you be you know um i also got lots of college homework especially for my anthropology class there's so much to read um, I, I don't know if it's possible to read all of these textbooks and lectures and videos before the 24th, which is midterms one. Um, yeah, I also got a film treatment homework thing, uh, which I'm going to have to do like soon. But, um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Time now is 1.23 a.m. after midnight on March 21st. Um, I'm back home. As you can see, I took a shower. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say. Um, um, I painfully read all uh, of, uh, not all, actually half of a chapter in my, uh, in one of the two textbooks for my anthropology class and um ah like it's like 30 pages long i painfully read all of that and i also listened to some music and now i'm back here um yeah i had a chat with nick i had a chat with nick um we didn't talk about anything crazy we talked about anime that's all um 
yeah, I, 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 I really don't know. I really don't know what to say. Um, you know, I'm still kind of upset towards Natalie. And partially towards Cedric, but more so Natalie. And I don't even know why. Probably because I know that Natalie's living a really good life. Not really good, but way better than mine. And I'm kind of jealous about it. Not only so, but... I just don't see a point in in talking to Natalie uh, because it's not going to benefit me at all. Um, I really don't know. But I guess, I mean, I'm not upset towards Nick though. Even though Nick is living a life, not, not, not a complete life, but definitely more of a life than I'm living in right now. But I'm not angry towards Nick. Maybe it's because I'm I sympathize with Nick. I I empathize with Nick because both Nick and I were really unpopular and unimportant back in the secondary school days. Or maybe it's I don't know. But I like even so, even if I talked to Nick now, it wouldn't benefit me at all. Especially with the fact that he's not even in Hong Kong. But I'm talking to him solely because. I'm talking to him like the point of talking to someone is to talk to someone there is no point beyond that talking is a pleasurable thing exchanging and sharing ideas and thoughts on different matters in and of itself is a pleasurable thing you know so I mean in a sense I shouldn't be angry towards Natalie maybe I should just speak to her <laughs> oh man it's so fucking terrible like back back like uh, two years ago it's oh I need to speak to Mary I need to speak to Mary now it's like I need to speak to Natalie except I don't want to speak to Natalie I, I still kind of don't want to honestly but uh yeah I don't have much time I'm gonna watch one episode of Narcos and then I'm gonna go to bed and then tomorrow I'm gonna go out and do jogging why because a I want to jog as much as possible B since I took a shower today, if I go out and jog or do workout tomorrow, I'm going to take a shower again. So, in a way, I force myself to take more showers and clean myself more by working out. <laughs> this is uh, kind of pathetic, really. Um, uh, yeah, I don't feel good. I'm smiling and all, I'm laughing and all, but I don't feel good. Like, throughout the whole day today, I'm just deadpan face. I did not smile. The only few occasions I smiled today was when I saw my mom's friend's pet rabbit. When I looked at the pet rabbit, I'm like, damn, that's so cute. And then I smiled. But throughout the entire day today, I did not smile once. Until now. Holy shit. <laughs> But yeah, it was a real cute rabbit. Um, yeah, so I guess there's that. A couple days later, I have to hand in my... Actually, a day later, I have to hand in my uh, film treatment homework, which I am not confident in at all. Um, I've never really written a full film. I have all these ideas, but I've never actually written a full film. Um, so that's kind of problematic. I don't know how am I going to solve it. Um, I want to talk to people. And, and also given the fact that I've been spending the last entire year in my own apartment, I don't have any ideas because I don't experience anything. I don't. So yeah, this is terrible, terrible, terrible. Yeah, that's it. I'm signing off. I'm still going to hold off from speaking to Natalie. I'm still not that interested in speaking to her. I mean, speaking to her is great. Um, but um, I'm just a little upset, you know. I just want to have this whole vibe where the next time she sees me, I'm going to be like a totally different person. Even though I'm actually not really a totally different person. I mean, when it comes to attitude and, and I mean, how I look. Okay, when it comes to how I look, I look pretty similar still. 
when it comes to attitude towards social lives, I've changed a bit, you know? You, you gotta admit, you know? I, I don't fucking care about anything anymore because I've, I'm just at such a bottom of the barrel, you know? But I'm not gonna look that different, to be honest. So, I don't know. Yeah, well, I guess um, that's all. I should also speak to, um, talk to uh, Anthony about Attack on Titan. Because I know he's a huge fan as well. So I'll do that tomorrow. I don't know. Speaking to strangers is weird at this point. Even Miriam. I mean, like, if it's last month, I can just randomly text Miriam and it would be normal. But now it's been a long time again and it's, like, a little weird again. That's that's how it's like. That's why speaking to Mary is such a difficult thing. Because it gets more and more difficult throughout time. The... M longer the time between your last talk the more strange it is to start a conversation because the more distant you two are unless you are in like the same class uh, so yeah that's all i'm gonna figure out this whole film treatment thing i'm gonna watch a tv and then i'm going to bed i'm gonna wake up a little early tomorrow or maybe not um i don't know um, it's 2.38, um, I did not watch an episode of Narcos, I did not watch a single thing yesterday and today combined, that is absolutely insane. Um, and I have to immediately go to bed now, it's really late. Um, I'm, I'm making this video just to help myself figure out what I should do for my film treatment. Now here's the thing, I, I have film ideas, but I do not have film plots I have ideas I don't have plots an idea is a man attends a funeral and is haunted by demons that's an idea but what what's the inciting incident what's the conflict what's the ending I don't know I haven't written and, and figured out any of that because I've always thought I have a lot of time I would be like 30 something years old when I make these movies so I have like one and a half decades on my hands to figure this out but now I have these film treatment exercises and I don't know what to do so okay liturgy right a uh, man attends a funeral that's one of my ideas man attends a funeral and is haunted by demons that's a way to simplify things but a I like this idea but it's not even my final idea I may change this idea like it sounds kind of generic now that I've said it and I need to figure out what's the conflict like, what, what's the conflict? A man attends a funeral. There's no conflict. He attends a funeral. So? So? What, what does he want? What does he need? What's up with him? There's no conflict. I can't figure out a conflict for a story like this. Um, I got another idea. Okay, I got a political thriller where it's basically a guy who sold his soul. Um, not real soul, soul. A guy who, who, who's like pro making propaganda for another country in secret and he doesn't want to do it but if he doesn't do it he, he may get you know jailed or killed this is a good idea but then it's like it's a little typical i guess it's a little it's it's a little george orwell type beat you know to be fair i had this story idea because of bart baker the guy who kept making tiktoks for china and I'm like, damn, this guy must have a terrible life. This guy's life must be depressing. Um, there's another idea that I have, and it's, um, I mean, again, I have a lot of ideas. Um, I got, and then I got ideas where it's just a vibe, and I don't even know what's going to happen. Like, I want to do a 1950s, 1960s Hong Kong period film. Um, I want to do an, a horror story where it takes place in Hong Kong again. I want to do um, um, another epic movie about the protests of Hong Kong. And then there are other movies like um, uh, uh, Teleportation, the movie about teleportation, which I don't even think should be a movie. It should probably be um, a TV show because it's, it's, it's so much. 
and I don't even know what should be the plot. I mean, it, should it be, oh, I'm teleporting to fight crime? Then it becomes a crime show. Then it's boring all over again. But then at the same time, I don't want to have, you know, I, I don't want to have this super have this superpower thing. You know, I don't want to have this teleportation thing be a superpower. I don't want the characters to be like, oh, I, I, I can teleport because it's a superpower. It's a lame idea. So I want this to be a government provided gadget. And I guess a good idea to attach onto it is to think that you're working for the government for good to realize that you're working for the government for something terrible maybe um assisting a war crime or something and you want to um sort of fight back that government corruption except you can't and you're just kind of stuck there um that's that would be a good idea i don't know portals would be a good idea but that's pretty similar to the teleportation one where essentially there's a bunch of portals and um, a Swedish archaeologist found Hong Kong artifacts underground. And it's like, what? There's no way. Turns out there's a portal between Hong Kong and Sweden. Um, that's a pretty good idea. But then again, the characters, the, the conflict, I don't know anything. I haven't figured out anything. Um, that's all. That's all I have. That's my entire inventory. I just pulled out my entire inventory. Of course, I have the dream TV show and conspiracies, but they're TV shows. If, they, if they're made into movies, it would not work because it's too many conflicts, too many ideas, too many arcs, too many characters. They wouldn't work. I guess the portal idea would be a pretty good idea out of all the ones I've said so far. Or I could do The Virgin again because I've already written and made The Virgin. I might as well complete it, you know? Him, the guy who wants to have sex, accidentally summons a demon at the end, is deluded so that he thinks that the only way he can have sex is to summon a demon. He summons a demon and fucking dies at the end. <laughs> this is the one I can go for. And then there's the funeral one, which... Um, Sounds like a, a fantastic idea, but I have no idea how should I solve it. I really don't. Alright, time now is 1.17 p.m. on, um, <clears throat> on uh, March 21st or something. I don't even know anymore. It's, yep, it's 21st. Fuck sakes, man. <laughs> Fuck sakes, eh? Uh, um, yeah, I had a couple of dreams. The first one is where I um I went down. The first one is where I went down. Uh, I was at I was back at school. But the more I dream about school, the weirder it is. So I went down from like the sixth floor to the ground floor, and I realized that I forgot to bring something. So I ran back up, and I ran via the back stairs, and I did not consider that the back stairs are connected. Like, on the fifth floor, the back stairs go directly through the staff room. So I eventually ended up in a staff room, which is terrible because it's it's forbidden. It's forbidden for students to enter. But uh, I accidentally went through it and I tried to cause as little attention as possible. Um, it, that, that was kind of a weird dream. And then the next dream is even weirder where... The, I'm one person, but I cloned myself, and I became the clone. I dreamed in the point of view of that clone. So I cloned myself, and I was wearing a gray suit. But the clone, it, was, it wasn't like identical, it was more like a soul clone. And so the other clone, like in my POV, I'm a younger version of myself. I'm younger, and I'm more energetic. And me, I'm older. I'm 20-something years old. And so we went into a facility of sorts. Um, it, it was like a school. And then we rescued a girl. And the girl sat beside me uh, on the left. And we were sitting on a cement bench inside the building. And I asked her if I could touch her skin. Which sounds really weird. But actually, I just want to know if she feels cold or not. But I didn't ask her. I just... So she's like, sure. So I touched her right arm. Right? And I'm like, wow, you're really cold. So I took off my gray suit and put it over her. 
um and then and then that's it and then afterwards we left and then there's this whole shootout thing where we got shot by these green bullets that are like jello that are like jelly so it sort of splashes around and we all ducked onto the ground um it was really weird um anyways what i'm gonna do today now yes for the last two weeks i've been feeling like shit um and i don't want to feel like shit anymore okay now i i have to admit Nothing is going right in my life right now. Uh, college is boring. My short film uh, ambition is like very likely to, uh, to fail. My uh, Mary uh, thing, it's it's gone. Okay, it's, it's I can't salvage it back. Um. So, you know, nothing is going right in my life right now. Um, it, it feels very defeating. It feels, uh, it, it hurts a lot. And given the fact that I have like no social life nowadays uh, and, and seeing people like, you know, Natalie just go out and having a lot of friends just kind of pains me. But I have to admit, I got to keep moving forward. You know, I, I, I can't just give up here as much as I want to. Um, and I don't know why, you know, I, I, I can't tell exactly one reason why I have to keep moving forward. I just know I have to. It's almost part of the human instinct to move forward with life despite the difficulties, you know? So I'm going to do that. I guess the main reason is because, I mean, the chances of short film is low, but not zero. So I'm going to continue with that. Because I know there is a chance. I guess that's one way to put it. But, um, yeah. Uh, I'm not going to do too much today. Again, I got college homework. Um, the film... The uh, film treatment thing. I've been thinking about it for a while. I talked to Zara about it, actually. Because I really... My mind went blank. And I have four ideas. The portal one. The this, that, this, that. And... I eventually ended up with um I don't know I'm not I'm still not sure if I should write this or not but it's because here's the thing there's a story I really want to write and it's a psychological horror story but for that story to work I must have the main character be married to a wife now I'm not married I don't know how marriage feels like so I can't write it because I don't know what it feels like I need to have experienced it in order to write it. This is why I've never written anything romantic before because I've never had a romantic relationship before. I don't know what a romantic being in a romantic relationship feels like. I know what loving someone like I know what liking someone feels like, but I don't know what being liked feels like, okay? That's why I've never written any romance in my stories. I've only written loon like loner loser characters. Okay, because that's all I know. So it's all about experience, man. So eventually I ended up, you know what? I'm just going to write the, the same story as I did in the short film in 2016. The very shitty one, except I'm going to upgrade it and make it way more interesting, way more intense. Uh, even though it's kind of like whiplash in a sense, but also not. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't freaking know. Also, I said today I might go out and do jogging. Maybe I will. I honestly have no no clue. No clue. It's 7.14. Um, I'm going out. I'm in my outside chair right now. I'm going out. I debated myself a little bit whether to go out or not. Because to be fair, it's a little late already. But you know what? Just screw it. Push up, sit ups. I'm going to do it. Um, that rhymes. Um, so today I had plenty of sleep. So I am aiming for 60 push-ups, 90 sit-ups, and, um, uh, I think 20 jumps is enough. Last time I did 20 jumps and my legs are like fucking broken. Um, 25 jumps, actually. 25 jumps, 90 sit-ups, 60 push-ups, and I would like to add, last time I also did jumping jacks. I would like to add, um, what else did I do last time? I, I did 
Yeah, am I gonna do? I don't. I don't want to do jumping jacks. It's 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 it, it's hideous. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna do. It is 18 degrees right now, 18. Yesterday it was 28, now it was 18. I changed my shirt to a thicker, long sleeved, but my pants remain the same. My knees are freezing. But hey, I'm not complaining. I mean, cold weather is definitely better than hot weather. Time now is 10.34 p.m. Um, yeah, I um, took a shower, had dinner, sitting where I'm at right now. Um, I, um, I did do 60 push-ups, 90 sit-ups, 25 jumps, uh, as promised, and uh, now I'm back here. Um, yeah, I've been thinking about what I should do for my film treatment. Um, I really can't, can't think of one, like, I've actually never written a full-length feature film before. I've actually never done that. I have ideas, but I've never written a full-length feature film before. I've never, ever done that. And I have some really good ideas, not, like, great ideas, I mean, still flawed but, um, you know, better than the ones I used to have. Um, the psychological horror story is really good. But um, I feel like if I have to force myself to write the entire plot for that idea, right now, it's going to suck. Because I don't know enough about psychological horror. I have not experienced anything that scary. I'm not married. And, okay, let, let's put ma marriage out of the equation. I mean, I want the main character to be married. You know, it's tied into the story. But let's put the marriage aspect away. Still, I can't I can't think of anything. Um, For my... I actually kind of want to do Jumper. Uh, which is a teleportation story. Except it's... Um, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Um, um, so I think the good, like the best way to go, um, actually, um, one uh, story I'm writing on, I'm working on, that I've been working on for a very long time, at least a year, is The Virgin, except it's a little weird, I think. Um... So uh, I'm going to go with uh, the one that I did in 2016, uh, the one with the kids. And I'm going to name it The Human Limit because it's it's a name that catches your, your attention. Um, and for the TV show Bible that I had to do, I'll probably do the jumper one or the dream one. Either way is fine. Um, but yeah, the reason why I want to do the, um, the, the 2016 short film one, which is the one where a bunch of kids go insane is because it's I've already figured the story out you know maybe not the best but I can at least rewrite it at least I have an idea of what's going on so there's that aside from that I and Zara had continued to talk just a slight bit and Zara said Zara asked me if I'm free this Sunday so maybe I and Zara and Miriam will hang out this Sunday maybe the line will come who knows um another thing is um I um I asked, I talked to Anthony on Discord, and Anthony was a little shocked, like, oh my god, I never thought someone would speak to me on Discord, and I said, yeah, this doesn't happen to me, too, and then he's like, I'm like, do you want to talk in WhatsApp? The reason why I ask, like, I talked to him on Discord first is because I, I, I don't know if Anthony uses WhatsApp anymore because of the whole, oh, screw WhatsApp movement that happened n not too long ago. 
And so Anthony's like, oh, do you use Signal now? And I'm like, yeah, I have Signal. So we talked a little bit on Signal. But that's pretty much just it. I have some college homework to do. Treatment to figure out. And then I'll watch anime, listen to music. And then that's all for today. Um, tomorrow is going to be simple. Real simple. I'm going to also do college homework. Um, play Minecraft. And that's it. So time now is um, 2.13 on um, March 22nd, I think. Um, that's right. So um, yeah, nothing important is going to happen today. Uh, I'm going to play Minecraft. I'm going to edit Minecraft as well. I'm going to do college homework. I have to film treatment, which I will hand in tonight before I sleep. Um, I, will, I already figured out the plot and stuff. I just need to write it down. It may not be the strongest plot ever, but uh, it is what it is. Um, and then, um, um, yeah, that's all, um, not much, uh, yeah, um, I don't know, um, I, Anthony is really, like, passionate about Attack on Titan, like, we were talking about it in Signal, um, yeah, something come to mind, actually. Um, there's a lot of anti-Asian hate in the USA right now. And also in other countries. And the more this has gone on, the more I realize that maybe moving to the USA is not a good idea. Like, maybe after, after college or after university or something, I kind of want to go back here, go back home. Except, um... Again, A, if China annexes Hong Kong and um, imposes its authoritarian rule over Hong Kong, um, it would be a dystopian here as well. So, um, I don't know. B, um, the film industry in Hong Kong is utter shit. Like, I either go there, get famous and successful, come back here and get a lot of help, or, um, or not. So, I, I really don't know that. Um, I feel like I'm stuck between a hard rock, um, a rock and a hard place, really. Because USA is not a good place for living at all um, right now. And so is China. It's terrible. The standard living, uh, the standard quality of living is rather high in China, in, in some specific places, in more urban places. But if you think about it in a more political and, and, and sort of... Um, um, socio-political way, um, everybody's living shit lives, because they're being lied to, they're being brainwashed every single moment of their entire lives living in China, so, um, it's, it's truly horrible how, it's almost like, to me, wherever I go, it's shit anyways, you know, there's no real good place to live in, you either live constantly being brainwashed, and being ruled by the government, or you live in a place where everyone's basically fucking stupid, and the education system is, is shit, and, and the government doesn't do anything because of that. Um, yeah. Pretty terrible. I had a dream where I was invited to Isaiah's home, and I don't know if there were tension between us, but I definitely felt tension. So it was long after the DSEs, probably in the future, in the dream, and my entire family was invited to Isaiah's entire family, and they lived in a really, like, white, rich mansion. And together, like, we had dinner and stuff, and it was kind of awkward for me because, you know, I don't know why, but I was there to ask him for help from a short film. It was weird. So at some point... Um, Isaiah was using his computer and there were some photos of like Europe shown on his computer and I was like oh that's Amsterdam and he's like wow I'm impressed that you actually got it right and I said oh yeah you went there in the summer of 2018 right and he's like yeah and I was like well when I was there too and I was trying to avoid you or I, I know that you were there at the same time uh, which it wasn't real at all by the way next thing is um Isaiah's younger sister. Now, again, I don't know why, but I've been dreaming about younger sisters. Um, 
Isaiah has a younger sister now. I, I don't know if he does in real life, but in the dream, he does. And after dinner, while having dessert, I, I don't know, I was really tired at that moment. And I used my own fork and cut off a piece of cake, uh, which is in the center of the table, near the center. So it's for everyone. And um, Isaiah's younger sister was like really upset and angry about it. And I was like, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, so that there's that and then near the end I was gonna ask I asked Isaiah if he wants me to send him my script and he's like nah nah he refused and I got a little angry as well I wanted to just go up to him and say hey man your ex is my like like your ex you know so um yeah it was quite awkward it's 3.56, um, I and Anthony continue to have a little conversation, um, Natalie and Grant and Oliver decided to have lunch together, which is a little disappointing again because in January of 2019, we, us three, we were together, you know, no, us four, like we were hanging out, we were the new tofu gang, okay, but of course I, I'm always left out of the picture. But then again, I at this point, I'm not even upset anymore because I have ceased to care. Again, this, these slogans, they always work. They always do. I don't care. I don't care. Our lives are separate. Our lives are separate. Um, I forgot the other line, but you get the idea. <laughs> um, you know, it's... You know... The more I think about it, the more ironic it is because back in form two, you know, when it's the six of us, when it's Team Cyan, me, Linda, Jordana, Natalie, Cedric, Jeffrey, us six together, it was like, wow, us six. But now we're all so far apart from one another. And if you add Mary and Bernice to the mix, we're all like, like worlds apart. But back then we all exist in unity, not necessarily peacefully, but, but back then we were together and now but actually we're so different like even you like everyone's apart and by the end i even said like the only few people who are still together is me cedric and natalie but look at us now we we were never meant to be friends because like someone like me would never be able to like really like natalie and someone like natalie would never be able to respect someone like me you know, we were never meant to be friends. It's it's too difficult. Maybe not as difficult as, say, friendship between Jeffrey and Jordana. But, but still. Like, at the end of the day, we're meant to be apart. Because we just don't fit. So, it's kind of ironic. It's 11.19pm. Um, yeah, not much else. Continue my conversation with Anthony. I guess he's just not that busy, even though he told me he's very busy. Um, you know, I always thought Natalie's busy because she never replies to me. But people are actually, and, and okay, to be fair, though, Natalie's working, like, what, 12 jobs? But Natalie's still able to hang out with people, you know? Um... I don't want to say this, but I think Natalie really has no interest in hanging out with me, like probably. And um, I mean, I, I can see why. You know, the more separate I am with people like Natalie and Mary and Jordana, the more I realize how impressive it was that Team Cyan happened. Like, the fact that we're managed to be together is insane. Because we're not supposed to be together. We repel against one another. Um, so this is absolutely insane. Um, there's not much else to add, really. Um, um, I don't know what the future holds, to be honest. I mean, to be fair, I feel really frustrated still right now feel like I, I can't make a damn short film I don't know why but 
making a three minute long short film is is so fucking difficult. You know, I remember after the short film 2017, my mom said I can actually make a few more short films uh, to um, polish my portfolio. And ever since, I'd never made a single short film. So, um, yeah, it's kind of depressing, really. Um, I guess it's also a little depressing that originally I wanted to finish my short film, my conspiracy short film, before school ends, so that when people watch it, they'll be like, oh my god, people are insane, Like, and they're right beside me because school is still a thing. But I can't have that effect anymore, uh, which is sad. But I guess in the grander scheme of things, that doesn't really mean anything. Um, yeah, that is all. Um, that is all. That is all. That is all. That is all. Um, time now is one twenty-seven p.m. on March 23rd. Um, I don't know what happened to me. Um, but um, I did eventually fall asleep at around 3.45 a.m. Uh, which is not terrible. But I woke up at around 8.30. And I just couldn't fall asleep for one and a half hours. I was just in my bed. I think it was because it was too hot. Like, I was just sweating. And I eventually... Um, and I set, actually set an alarm on my phone to ring at around 10.30 because I want to wake up a little early. Though I know I'm going to go back to sleep anyways. So I eventually was like, you know what, just screw it. So at around 10 a.m. I left my bed and turned off the alarm on my phone. I washed my hands and went back to bed. And then the alarm rang and I'm like, what the fuck? So I turned it off again, washed my hands, went back to bed, and then I woke up at around 12.30. And then I had breakfast slash lunch, and then now here I'm standing. Um, not going to do anything all that important today. I'm going to take a shower tonight. That's um, <laughs> fucking hell. It's fucking hell, man. You know how, like... Back in the days, man, back in the good old days, back in 2018, you know, every everything can happen in, in so much can happen in one week. But now I'm just like, oh, having a shower. Um, yesterday, I did complete my film treatment, which I'm not particularly proud of, because it's essentially a story that that's from my 2016 short film. And um, it's actually pretty typical. I thought Everything that came out of my head seems like a wacky idea at first until I put it down and then I realized, damn, this idea is actually not that wacky. It's actually kind of generic. Like, and now it just feels kind of lame. <laughs> and uh, the professor had written uh, feedback, but I haven't read it and I'm not looking forward to because I feel like I'm going to look like a piece of shit uh, when I read it. I'm not confident about it at all. Um, so, um, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, anthropology going strong, I guess. I'm going to I'm gonna have to listen to some lectures, watch a couple videos, and read one, read one more chapter of the textbook. And then I'm going to be good. Uh, I have a film homework to do as well, film one. And then that's all. I think I'm going to do an album review, but I'm not exactly sure because I haven't listened to the albums enough. Maybe I'm just going to take a rest of the day. Um, who knows? Um, yeah. Uh, not much else to add, I guess. I Again, I, I, I don't have hope for the future. Like at this point, I've written my scripts. I've done I've done my deeds it's the world that's not letting me do whatever I want to do, okay? Um, I think um, Marty and, and, and Adam and some other people are played basketball together yesterday. I don't know at this point. I, I, I don't friggin' know anymore. But, um, yeah. 
Um, I do miss Mary. And I say this all the time, but I feel like... Um, I don't know, it's just a shame. Because I've always thought I had more time to understand her. And sort of see what kind of person she is. But, but really, I don't. And she's forever a mystery to me. And, um... And I don't understand why is it so difficult for me to understand her. Like, like she doesn't seem like a very complicated person. You know, she acts really nice. And she's really accepting. But then at the same time, she's like hiding some, some stuff. And I just don't understand that at all. It just does not make any sense. And I've met people like Natalie and Jordana and, and Keith. You know, I know these people. I know they're complicated. But Mary's complicated but in a sense you you would never be able to predict her like there's just so much layering to her to her personality that's just like so weird i mean even people like miriam say say that you know, like damn like she's so unpredictable i don't understand her at all like she's just uh, she's a <laughs> <laughs> I really wish I, I I could have more time to speak to her. Um, I really do wish that. Now, next October, I'm going to still say happy birthday to her. But it's not going to mean anything at that point. It's just going to be haha. And she's going to be married or something. I don't know. Here's the thing, man. Nowadays, when people date, they usually stay for like a year. Back Back in secondary school people date and they break up a few weeks later or a few months later but nowadays relationships are way more stable meaning that natalie actually has a chance of marrying grant and by then i don't even know if i'm going to show up in their wedding i don't even know if cedric's going to show up in her wedding like um i mean cedric is also I don't speak for Cedric myself, but I think Cedric has also been one of the more important pieces in Natalie's life. But Natalie doesn't fucking care anymore, okay? Natalie has a life. She has goals and ambitions. Cedric, who's that? He's in Scotland now. So, yeah. <laughs> kind of a shame, really. Kind of a kind of a shame. Um, speaking of marriages, right? Um, I don't know. I think in the future, I won't even, like, even if there's, like, a secondary school, like, reunion thing, I'm probably not going to go. The The person who cares the most will not go. And I, and I won't go sheerly, sheerly for the irony. I want to go, but I can't go. Because it would be a funny joke. Here we go. This is the first time in my entire life where I actually wrote a film treatment and submit it to um, to someone from the in the West. Um, okay, so essentially, before I look at the feedback, um, I want to say that the story is about a teenager, 15 years old, uh, very skinny, timid, scared. He was um, a loser, and he wants to impress his parents. So his mom enrolls him into a badminton course. And it's harsh. The coaches insult him. The people are cold-blooded, violent, angry. And he, it's like he... It's the first time he had con, uh, come in contact with the real world. Which is cruel, dark, disgusting, and full of hatred and anger. And things got worse when he met his rival. And it is a person who is athletic very charismatic very confident and that rival has bullied him a lot and the coaches did nothing the parents they did nothing he wants to quit multiple times but at the end there's a competition he's like you know what screw it i'm going to prove everyone that i am not useless he goes out there he fights and he wins um okay Need more of a story arc and a gradual transformation of Ian, the main character, from being bullied to taking charge of his life. You have one way when his elders inspire him, but you need to show more. That's true. Not much of a story arc. You can shorten or cut many of your bullying scenes. We get the idea. 
Everyone bullies him, even his parents. And then he gradually takes charge of his life, even Sophia is the one who does it for him. Maybe he begins practicing Taekwondo or and that gives him confidence. You mentioned female coach in the beginning, but we never hear from her again. Maybe she has been bullied as well by another coach. So she understands that Ian is what Ian is going through and helps him with his confidence. He immediately storms out of the stadium in the lobby. You can cut this. He sounds like a baby for doing this. Oh, it's so cringe. Oh, it's so cringe. <laughs> oh yeah, it's 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 kind of cringe. It's kind of cringe. It's kind of cringe. It's kind of cringe. It's twelve forty four after midnight. Um, I just finished watching a movie. I'm gonna go to bed. Um, I don't know why this happens every fucking time, but I earlier I said I I plan to take a shower, and I'm actually late than my schedule than scheduled. And of course, my dad's in the fucking bathroom every single time. Um, brilliant. It's great. That's great. Um, let's say I wait for about half an hour. Um, it would be about 1.15. Um, and then I have to wake up tomorrow. And I have to wake up 7 a.m. tomorrow because my math class starts at 8 a.m. instead of a 9. And now it's eight because uh the entire time in usa had shifted a little early an hour early yeah that's uh five hours probably less because i definitely won't fall asleep immediately so um yeah great great stuff um the short film guy, I I think he's really busy, and that makes a lot of sense. I mean, he's a he's a father. He has his own project to deal with, but he really hasn't responded to me at all in WhatsApp. Like I send him my send him my scripts, and he's like he waits for an entire week. Um. Um. Yeah, but uh, he essentially um, asked me to uh, speak to him on Friday. To go to his studio and speak to him directly in person. And I'm like, okay, fine, whatever. So I guess I'm going. And if nothing goes wrong on Sunday, uh, 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 Zara, Miriam, uh, and I, and probably the lion will hang out again together. Um, which is great, I guess. As much as I want to be this, like... <laughs> You know, from time to time, I would think, you know, oh my god, I'm so alone nowadays, I have no friends nowadays, and I bet everybody's forgotten about me, right? So next time, and if the graduation dinner happens, uh, if it doesn't happen, who cares, right? But if it does happen, and I show up, they're gonna be like, who the fuck is this guy? He's wearing a large, oversized suit, long pants, he's looking so like bitter and solemn he's like a detective but but fucked up you know um <laughs> hair messy eyeglasses so they won't recognize me at first facial hair and he's bigger now taller wider um and they'll be like oh my god like oh my god who's that they walk closer and I don't speak because if I speak, they'll figure out it's me because of, of my voice. So I'm just there and I don't give a shit. You know, I, I, I don't go up to them. I don't smile. I don't go, ha ha ha, funny times. Long time no see. Sashiburi. <laughs> I just stand there, you know, beside the wall. <laughs> and, and especially for dumbasses like Natalie, right? Like, she's like, oh, who, who's that? <laughs> who's that guy over there? <laughs> and they pass by me they don't even like like try to figure out i mean i mean dude i could be a stranger and then they walk closer and they're like wait you know oh, is that you and then i'm like just fuck you and then i just walk away like that's what i want to do 
And I know I, I won't be able to do it because I always fantasize myself as this cool, not cool, like just fucked, just broken because I'm left alone for so long. I've been rotting in this bedroom. I've been rotting. I've been degrading. Right. So I always imagine myself one day I'm going to return and they're going to see how broken I am because they have been having so much fun themselves for so long and they completely forgotten about me and look what you made me into. But to be honest, it's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. When I see people, I'll just smile awkwardly and go, haha, long time no see, sashiburi. Uh, because A, it's the normal way, you know, if, if I do otherwise, it's cringy uh, and edgy. B, I just don't have the balls to act tough in front in front of people i just don't have the balls when i'm fr when i'm in front of people i'm just like oh, hey hello however though if graduation dinner does happen i'll try my best to do what i want to do you know of course i won't be like fuck all y'all you know but i'll try to be as like nonchalant as possible I again if it happens i need to stop assuming that it will happen because chances are it won't happen and I don't want to be disappointed anymore. I've been disappointed so much in my entire life, okay? I need to stop expecting, okay? But um, essentially, if people like Natalie or Oliver, I mean, I, I send memes to Oliver's like weekly in, in Instagram, but we never saw each other. I haven't heard him speak. Um, and he hasn't seen me. He, he knows that I have a YouTube channel. Wait, he doesn't. Oh, of course he doesn't. If he does, I'm fucked. I'm actually fucked if he does. I mean, he's a great guy, but someone will make him tell people. However, never mind. I, even if he knows, nobody probably cares. But, um, like, people like Natalie, uh, Oliver, um, people in the being and people who have once denied me, you know, like, people like Hans, you know, um, People like, um, sort of, um, Mary, I mean, um, I don't want them to recognize me. I don't want them to think they know me anymore. I want to be a stranger. Just like the way people are strangers to me. It's almost like retaliation where, like, people like Mary, again, like, I used to know her and then I don't. She became a stranger again. And I want to have that same effect on other people. I want people to perceive me as a stranger, but, but with, but still, but, but feel almost a little sad that I am a stranger again. <laughs> it's such a specific feeling that I want people to have, you know? And I know for sure that people won't have this feeling. If Kingsley sees me, he's going to be like, oh, I know you. By your nose bridge. I recognize your nose bridge. Um, <laughs> but I'll try my best. You know. I'll, and, and to be fair. I'm really like fucking bitter. Like of course. You've heard my slogans. I don't care. I don't care. We live separate lives. Um, so I. I'm not going to cry myself to bed. You know every night. Because. I'm not invited in some pizza lunch <laughs> with Natalie, the the crazy, violent, intelligent girl with uh, Grant and Oliver and, and the whole gang. And I'm not there and they forgot about me. You know, who fucking cares? Ten years from now, it's not going to even matter. Ten, t I, I bet your asses. Ten years from now, Natalie and Oliver, they won't speak to each other. They, they'll, they'll forget about each other as well. If they do, then I'll be mad because... I'm 100% sure they will forget about me. That's for sure. I hope they do forget about each other too. I hope people feel as lonely as I am right now, okay? I hope people suffer as much as I do. Um, and, um, you know, it's jealousy, honestly. You know, I, I don't hate particular people, you know? Um, but actually, you know what? Um, I digress. Um... I think um yeah I'm, I'm I'm cool you know I'm I'm cool people can have hot pot dinners together 
Uh, they invite each other out to friggin' Ocean Park. Imagine the entire Bean Gang goes to Ocean Park. Um, or, or Natalie and Grant and Oliver and, and Zara and Miriam. Okay, M Miriam and Natalie is never together, but, but just Zara and, and Natalie, they go to Ocean Park. And I'm not there. Even though last time in Sept on September 10th, I was there in the quad, but there was never a quad because it, it was actually only a one-time thing. Or a two-time thing, because... Um, we were in the cafe at the end of 2019, two times. Um, <laughs> but I, I'm not going to be mad anymore. Um, but I'm not going to be like nice anymore because if they act strangers to me, then I'll act strangers to them. Um, equivalent exchange, you know, people like pink. She doesn't ignore me. She texts me from time to time, which is really nice. And it's kind of shocking because I and Pink, like Pink's one of my newer friends. Like we have only been starting to become friends in late 19. We've only been friends for one and a half years only. And then with Natalie, I've been friends with her since 2015, October. And I mean, on and off, you know, but... She's a real bitch ass, you know? <laughs> and Cedric. I've been friends with Cedric since February 2015. February 2015. But I think our friendship has reached a point where we don't constantly depend on one another anymore. Like, we're not as friendly as, as before. And it's not a sad departure. It's just a reality, you know? Close friends grow apart too. You know, it's not an ugly breakup. It's not an ugly argument. It's just we grow apart. And that's what friends do. Like, friends are not forever. Nothing lasts forever. You know, friendships don't last forever as well. And we've come to terms for that, you know. Maybe that's why Pink and Leo are still, you know, rather, like, like close to me. And, and you know, they, they still text me from time to time. Maybe it's because... You know, if we've been friends for like 10 years, maybe they're they're going to be like, eh, this, this guy, you know, just, you know, whatever. Uh, and then there's Nick, uh, whom I've been friends with since, what, 2010? <laughs> no, not 2010. 20, um, 2012. I was 10. So, so about 2012, 2011. I, I, I'm not even sure how did we become friends in the first place. It's a little blurry. Um, but Nick still texts me from time to time as well. Obviously because Nick doesn't have that many friends. If he does, he would have abandoned my ass. He would have abandoned my sore loser ass uh, soon enough. But Nick and I, we are in the same boat for most of the time as well. You know, We're discarded. We're abandoned. Nobody cares about us. And that's um, the case. I've talked too much. I'm going to take a shower. My dad should be out by now. It's 2.01 um, uh, a.m. I forgot to mention that Pink is doing yoga. And um, from Marty's Instagram story a while ago, um, Hans is doing like gym or something. Meanwhile, I'm getting dirty on the ground doing push-ups and sit-ups. I am the real rustic raw motherfucker.